right, I'm making another video to a more in-depth video to show what's happening in a, in a slower setting so that you can actually see how variable frame drops are affecting the other person's game. On the top screen, I have a PS4. And on the bottom, I have the PC. And I went ahead and synced the clock so it's easier for you guys to understand. Uh, right now, it's at the 18 second mark. And if I move one frame, you can see that they are both in sync and they change at the same time. And the reason why I'm showing this is because on in online settings, uh, the clocks will always change in 60 frames per second. Um, nothing can change this. The, the game clocks are synced. Uh, these clocks can only be out of sync at the start of the round um, by putting the artificial delay. But when the game started and, they're, and they are synced, the only thing that will change is the latency or the frame rate, which can have an effect on the other person. That's what basically causes one-sided rollback. Um, and it can't be adjusted for it during a game. It can only be adjusted for at the start of a round. So um, that's the basic gist of it. Let me let me break down um, what's actually happening when there are variable frame rate changes uh, in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here one frame at a time. And you can see that the PC player is walking to the right. And this is shown on the PC, P, PS4 side for the first frame. But then the PC side uh, starts to drop frames. Right now it's at 54 frames per second. So if I move this over, you can see here that the PS4 is still moving. And it's only moving once every two frames because I can only capture PS4 in 30 frames but this is still technically 60 frames per second. But if you look at the PC side, it hasn't moved at all. And this is because the PC side is, artif I'm artificially uh, frame locking uh, the PC to not render any frames. So the PC is not gonna move until those frames are, 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 are stopped dropping. So you can see here the PS4 is still moving. Now you'll notice right here this very next frame, suddenly the PS4 hops all the way from here to all the way over here. So why did this happen? The reason why this happens is because while the PC side or PS4 are dropping frames, it doesn't matter which, it just it's just the idea that it's dropping frames. When it's dropping a frame, it does not send any of that data to the other person's game. The other person's game assumes whatever last input it received is the one that's still happening. So while we were all the way back here, when the clock turned to 17, it received its last frame. Uh, the PS PS4 received its last frame from the PC. It still thinks it's walking backwards. But in reality, the PC hasn't done anything. So it's going to continue running this animation until it receives the next non-dropped frame from that game. And in this case, it takes like six frames later, or I think it's like 12 or something like that frames later. It receives the change from the PC side, telling it that the character is actually here, not way back here. So it updates it, rolls back, basically it updates it and says, oh, this character's here. So the PS4 was like, whoa, why did this character just jump wildly all over the place? Um, when there was no lag, it's because the... Um, PC system was dropping frames. And now if I keep, I'm, I'm actually manipulating the frame rate here as we go on. You can see here it's starting to drop to 42. Um, as I do this, you'll start to see the same effect. It's still reading the forward motion. I'm still walking forward, so they still coincide. But as I change directions, you'll see that it does the same thing. So the PC is locked because it's dropping frames. It can't read inputs. And the PS4 still assumes it's walking backwards. A few frames later, it realizes, oh, wait, no, that's not the case. And it rolls back and resets it. So this is how rollback netcode basically works. It's, it is working correctly. But if the systems aren't maintaining 60 FPS, this can add additional issues to the game. So it's not just the latency. It's not just the netcode. Um, it's also the game itself. It's extremely important 
that the PS4 and the PC are both running at 60 FPS to make sure that the game is is as synced and stable as possible. This game will have serious problems if you're not able to maintain uh, 60 FPS with it. All right, here's another one showing the ghost effect that I also see quite often. So this is a way that you can tell while you're in a match if someone's dropping frames. Besides, um, in between rounds, if it's slowing down, that can kind of indicate to you that the other person's not maintaining 60 FPS. But during a round, if you start to notice ghosting, it's a good uh, sign that the person's uh, system is not running 60 FPS, so you should probably avoid them. Um, if you do, if you don't if you want to avoid these issues, um, so here I have it synced up to where they're both. Uh, so you can see the clocks are still synced. Um, I'm having the PC dropping frames again at my 54. Not a lot. This is what we've seen from other videos. What's happening on the PS4 side? We're seeing intermittent drops to around 54 from 60. Uh, this was reported at launch by Digital Foundry. We still do not have any videos. Uh, showing what the frame rate is on Arcade Edition, but hopefully someone will be able to run tests on that eventually. So uh, I'm going to fast forward here, and all I'm doing is moving the PC side back uh, a couple frames at a time. I'm just clicking the back button. And what you'll notice here is Kami does this weird animation and then it disappears. Now, let me go ahead and show you this in real time really quick here. Oh, um, so you can kind of see like, it looks like a weird glitch, right? There's this really weird glitch. Why, for, you know, in real time, you're seeing this like flash of something, but all Cammy's doing is walking back. <clears throat> this is the, this is also the issue um, that's caused from frame drops and how the netcode reads uh, frame drops from the other person. So what's taking place here is the PC is uh, saying that it's moving back and it's only a, like a one frame input or one to three frame input being read by the PC side as walking back. Um, some frames are dropping during this time when I push back. When the frames drop during this time, the game reads back, dropped frame, back again, which gets read as a dash. So what we're seeing here is the start of the dash animation for Kami, uh, but there's actually no dash taking place. When the game reads back in that it actually wasn't a dash and it was just holding back after the, <clears throat> the frame drops that were skipped or read back from the PC side, it realizes it's, it's not a dash and it, uh, it, it corrects it, it rolls it back. But uh, if you're seeing this on your side, um, you're seeing these random flashes of animations that aren't taking place, it's usually a sign that um, there is frame drops happening. This effect can occur with latency as well, so I should just preface that it can occur, but uh, it's usually more prominent. Um, you'll actually see much more of the dash. I'm noticing with small, small frame drops like this, uh, it's definitely more consistent. You'll get more of these uh, random flashes. Whereas with latency, it's usually like one move really takes longer than usual because the, the, the ping spikes are usually larger than just one, one frame or so, or a couple frames, like in this case. And then I'm also going to show you here um, what, what happens when, uh, like, when a person does an animation like a dash, for example, and how one person, how it looks on the PC versus the PS4 when frames are being dropped or vice versa. It can, remember, frames can be dropped on either side, guys. It's not just a PS4 issue. It's just we know from reports that PS4 has shown to drop frames consistently versus PCs because the hardware just can't handle it. And ever since the Arcade Edition release where they've added more features and more UI, it seems to have gotten worse. This is what we're trying to confirm by running Arcade, why I'm asking them to run Arcade Edition tests so that we can show Capcom, hey, this has gotten worse over the last two years, not better, you guys really need to fix this because it is ruining the online experience for everyone involved. Okay, so I'm going to go back to and, and show you here what happens uh, when a dash actually does take place. Okay, so right here is where um, the dash starts. You can see here on the PC side. 
So one, Dami's dash is 16 frames. So we just count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so what happened during this animation is Cami actually dropped three frames on the PC side. And even though it dropped frames during the animation, um, the PS4 did read the inputs, so it did sync to it accurately. But it's um, significantly, I, I shouldn't say significantly, but it is choppier on the PS4 side when this happens. And you can see there's actually a point at which um, the PS4 actually jumps ahead because of these frame rate drops. So you got to remember because this uh, these games are synced essentially um, at exactly one millisecond. I'm only affecting the frame right here. So this first frame that's red on the PC side should also be red on the PS4 side, but because of the frame drops, it's not sending that data until uh, one frame later. And then you can see that the PS4 actually jumps ahead because the PS4 is, in this situation is not dropping frames it's uh, playing correctly, whereas the a PC side is still dropping frames, so it's slightly behind. So it does slightly, um, when so certain stuff happens, uh, you'll get some frame skips, or things will get sped up, or visuals will just get thrown off a little bit. Uh, when there are frame drops as well, but this just this is just showing like things to look out for. You're gonna you're gonna have ghosting effects. You're gonna have uh, some frame skipping that are also is also caused by frame drops and not just the latency.